Hello, how are you guys doing? Oh, oh, jeez, choking on my own spit. How are you guys doing? Uh, I I played some more hammer. I did some painting, uh, and then I made the mistake of using the slow dry blue paint that I've got, and it didn't come out quite the way I wanted it to. So now I have to wait for paint that uh, takes over a day to dry to dry. So I'm kind of just waiting for it. Um, the painting is adorable, and that's a problem, because I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to, I didn't want to, uh, make it adorable? I don't know if my camera's plugged in or I'd show you. Uh, is it? What is this cable to? It is not plugged in. Okay, so I can't show you. Anyway. <laughs> We're doing some fights in tight spaces because it's a game that I'm playing that I enjoy that I could play. And if I did, then it would be a big deal. Also, it got an update and the updates are pretty nice. Um, namely, the grappler deck is great. Um, it plays really well. They did some updates to make the game a little bit more fair and playable. And uh, yeah. I think Kermit just knocked over the trash. <sighs> Cats, my dude. I love them. So, um, this deck is cool because it's all, like, throwing moves. Let's go ahead and turn on the music, because I usually turn it off, because I'm listening to copyrighted music when I'm playing this. Alright. Valheim update that's coming out next week. That might be good. I know me and Mike need new things to, to stream. Uh, we keep running into this issue where we don't have a thing to stream. Oh, this is a new song. Let's go ahead and do uh, a, one of those. This game has great music. All right, we'll just stand back here. So the throw deck is all about like doing things that knock them over, which allows you to get some really silly combos going, like this maneuver, and then I suplex this guy here, and then I stomp on this dude. <laughs> uh, maybe it's time to Minecraft again? It might, I don't know. With Mike, you mean? All right, do I switch spots with them? Swap places with the enemy. Um. I can use swap to move over there, so I can just like, whop. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and then, uh, go ahead and, uh, oh, I'm out of, uh, shit. Okay, well, I didn't take damage, so it's fine. I could have moved back into that and done a counter throw, but, um, let's just roll over him, because it's funnier. There we go. Uh, slip is always good. So now they've changed it that if you skip, you get five health back. Uh, your pronouns right now, Starstruck on the app, are he, him. I don't know what it's supposed to be. I have no idea how that thing works. I got it because a friend of mine, um, he was saying that he was going to start streaming. And, um, he was super about, like, you know, he wants to use the pronouns because they're trans as well. Or, um, non-binary, excuse me. And I'm like, okay, well, you know. And they didn't know about it. And I'm like, there's this cool thing you can get. And they were super hype about it. So I'm like, cool. I should figure out how it installs. And then I just installed it, so... see uh suplexing would be good this guy's gonna do damage to me i guess i twist jump kick would you be opposed to a terraria playthrough i like terraria well enough i think i um i think i'm good though uh what does the calamity mod give you fights and tights I love Headbutt. Like, part of the reason I like this deck is just because all of the moves are really funny looking. And that makes it objectively good. Um, okay, watch this. Then I throw him. 
Oh, that didn't work the way I thought it was gonna. Oh well, we'll just move to the side then. Play Final Fantasy, what is that, 14? Why is everyone about that right now? Like, it, it's a popular game, don't get me wrong, but like, it's suddenly very much a thing, and I'm not sure why. It's genuinely fun. I don't want to know that. WoW fans moving to Final Fantasy 14. I see. Okay. Is there a particular reason from that? Aside from just like Blizzard drama? Okay, cool. <laughs> Thank you for the um, four months of support, Vampire Saint. Or Vamp Saint. Sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, later Alligator is going to be a thing. Um, I'm trying to think. What's the other one that was... Uh, one that I was supposed to play. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oxen free. Stuff like that. I just didn't want to do that um, on a day that I said I wasn't going to stream. While well, this content is getting stale. Fair enough. I mean, like, I tried WoW in its heyday. And, you know, I wasn't really looking for that kind of game, granted. But uh, it just didn't seem like it was particularly interesting. Okay, so if I tackle this guy, I'm going to get moved into that slot and then he's going to push me and I'm going to be right back where I started. So instead of tackling him, I think I'll just throw him to the ground and then uh, stomp on him. But I played WoW because um, a few friends of mine uh, were, like, super into it. And I just couldn't get into it, man. I really couldn't. I feel like um, I missed whatever was supposed to make it good. Ooh, I should have moved instead. Okay, what if I swap and get that guy killed by that? <laughs> nice. Oh, uh, good. I do enjoy this game. When I played WoW, uh, we checked out, like, pet battles and stuff. That was fine. Uh, but it just really wasn't what I was looking for, you know? Like, I wanted to see, I don't know, good gameplay? Yeah, no stream later today because of uh, extended wife time. Uh, because of uh, COVID stuff, um, they say that we have to get to the airport like two hours before, before her flight, which is just holy shit. Um, I, I don't know as if I really want to get into uh, Final Fantasy. It's nothing against Final Fantasy necessarily. It's just... Uh, it's just Like, I don't really like the idea of her being on a plane. I'll be honest with you guys. Um, like, uh, I don't know. Just, it, it sketches me out. I always get sick on planes, but, you know, she, she got the really good mess. She's vaccinated. No one's going to be there. She went with the airline that's got the best COVID policy. And, like, this is something that she has to do. Um, um, I get it. But it just scares me, you know? There's going to be bunny lads, too. WoW has half-naked elves hitting on you. So, so basically, the question is, do I want to be hit on by uh, half-naked elves or cat girl maids? Um, God. Okay. And then, of course, I was watching a thing today, and it's like, oh, tomorrow's like the 20th anniversary of 9-11. And I'm just like, oh, God. But I, I don't imagine anyone's going to... I don't know. But, you know, like, the, if... 
my wife is late home from work by like an hour. I'm just like, oh my god. Something awful has happened, you know? When I used to pick her up from work and she'd stay like an extra 30 minutes, I'm just like, oh god, you know? So, it's gonna be fine. I'm just gonna miss her. I'm gonna miss her a lot. It's kind of the unfortunate thing about um, liking someone a lot is that you miss them when they're gone. Um, put that guy over there and then just dash to the side and then be fine. Uh, we're not doing Dirk Day today, no. Because uh, the extended wife time, that has to happen. All right, so this should, if I move this guy here, should get this one guy just absolutely railed, right? Yeah. And then we do this to do 24 damage because it does extra damage because of the twist kicks thing against heavy guys. And then we throat punch him in the back of the head, which was a bad decision because I could have done 10 damage to him. Ah, oh well. Uh, I think I might do a one stream thing of oxen free since it's um It's apparently only like a four-hour game and I'll probably do it next week because um, You know with Tilda gone. There's no reason not to go long um, It depends on whether or not like she'll call me at night or whatever um Is this game more lenient now? Yes. Maybe. I haven't actually gotten that far, so I don't know yet. Okay. That guy is... And then he can get shot. That's fine. I've almost got this guy. Um... Alright. Let's see. I think we kill this guy. And then we tackle this guy so that we don't take damage. Yeah, if Mike wants to do a long stream this week, then we can do that. Uh, Primordia. I need to do the ones that people have been asking me to for a while. Um, let's see. Roll throw will knock me completely out of the way. I think we just throw this guy to the ground and then we roll throw the other guy. Uh, stuff like Oxen Free and Later Alligator and uh, Virtue's Last Reward. Those need to all come up. I'm not sure which one I'm doing first. I'll probably do Oxen Free first because it's going to be the shortest of them. Um, theoretically, someone has said, well, and I don't know what well means, uh, but probably I'm wrong with that estimate of four and a half hours. It also has to do with whether or not I'm actually going to be able to, um, you know, finish it in that amount of time. Uh, I don't know how much damage they take for standing up. You know, let's just kill this guy. There we go. If you end up liking Oxen Free, the sequel is slated to come out next month. Nice. Then we'll just headbutt this guy out of the arena. Uh, what time am I starting my Wednesday stream? Probably as soon as I wake up. Um, so I'm doing a subathon. Uh, someone pointed out that if I do uh, two minutes per uh, sub, then I could very easily get into a situation where I have to do an hour or like, what is it? They did the math and it's like, it would be very easy for me to end up doing like an all day stream. So I think it'll be, uh, I'm going to probably reset Pooball so that way I can try and go for a speed run record because literally anything is a speed run record as long as it's in one recording. Um... It'd be like a last place out of like 10 people who have actually bothered to register their win. I'll take it, you know, um, and it'll fill out time a bit. I mean, getting to Christopher Robin is not the hard bit. It's just Christopher Robin. So I think it'll be either I go, you know, all day, beat Christopher Robin or um, I go for, you know, 
whatever. You know, something like that. I've got a couple speedruns on um, speedruns.com, I think, for like uh, Sakura Spirit and stuff like that. Um, they're bullshit and bad times. Um, fuck it. I don't think that there's any downside to that. I actually really like this deck, and I don't think it needs any new cards, so we're just going to upgrade where available. <sighs> he gave up on Christopher Robin after eight hours. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, guess I'll gain... Oh! Hey! So I didn't heal because it gave me the healing first and then the extra health. All right. I'd imagine the experience is fairly the sim same, honestly. Uh, tackle. Oh, whoops. I can't suplex backwards. Um, we're gonna get shot. Can we get it so we don't get... Ooh, hold up. We can suplex this guy instead. And then we don't take any damage. God, there's a lot of new music here. Herman, are you chewing on cables? Can you not be a butt right now? Dude, yesterday he was like all about being a butt. I don't know what his deal was, but he was like, I'm gonna wake up at 2 a.m. and cause problems and mischief. Um, by my math, 30 subs equals one hour. Yeah, so should I maybe do like a minute per, it's, I mean, you know what? If I go all day because of that, but I need to have like an end time, you know? Um, let's see. I roll throw this way, punch this guy. Well, Herman got up, or Abby got up on top of the uh, bookshelf behind me and just started crying. And it's like, okay. I now know how to say fuck you in Italian and shit kid. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, th the experience of dealing with Christopher Robin translates over language and culture and everything. He's just a piece of shit. Alright, punch you in the throat. Just to do damage. Roll throw over you. This is backwards. And that's it. And then, uh, swap places with me. Cool. And then, uh, headbutt. <laughs> And shit. Uh, I didn't think about how I was getting out of here. All right, well, we'll just. There we go. You're dead. Ow. That was a lot of damage. Holy shit. On the ground. Curb stomp. Right in the dick. I mean, she's. And roll throw, because it's funny. Option play is always good. I think I need the health right now. Cock destroyer. Uh, these are all upgraded. Do I want a move to, or do I want health? Option play is such a good card. It's probably one of the best cards in the game. Um... I'll take it. It's probably more safe health over time. Uh, upgrade a card. Cool. Uh, I will upgrade... Uh, roll throw. Yes, cheapening that up is very helpful. Visit mob doctor. Uh, won't let me do either. Sometimes it lets you do it because it glitches out, but it doesn't look like today it will. All right.
I imagine if you're in a hospital, you need to, like, have something going on, like, that's nice. So, maybe you just, like, tell people how to curse in Russian. Sure, why not? I'm gonna kick Santa's ass right now. 10 damage or 12 damage? We'll do 12 damage. Okay. How do I do the most amount of damage here? Uh... Suplex him. Twist kick. Should be just 12. It is. Okay. And then roll over him. This deck is so funny because it's just like there's there's not a lot that is a real problem aside from like big dudes. And that's why you got stuff like headbutt. And then he's dead, and that's the that's the level. Good job. All right, cool. And then what do we got? Bonus move, extra move card every turn, extra momentum, or draw a card by one. Ho, ho, ho. Get fucked. Um, momentum boost is plus one thing. That's really hard. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with momentum boost. And then we go into the insiders. They added new levels, which is really nice. It's not as big of a deal on most of these, but on this section, the levels were kind of rough. All right, again, roll throw for positioning purposes. Then. Uh, can we, we can't head smash anyone. We could suplex this guy. Yeet. And then put this guy here and then everyone goes on the floor. Everyone on the floor. It also prevents some of their movement because they gotta like, you know. Bulk. Just in case if I screwed something up. Cool. Uh let's see. Uh this into an option play, then I tackle the guy directly in front of me. Bonk. <laughs> it's not so much of a tackle as much as it is like a, I mean, I guess when I think tackle, I think like, you know, football tackle. Okay, punch you in the throat just in case I fuck things up. Ponder, we're gonna get rid of grapple because it changes nothing now. 12 damage or 12 damage, we'll do 12 damage and then stomp them on the floor. Cool. Easy. Hidden Blade. Bleed is so bad. That's the one thing that they need to fix, is they need to fix Bleed. Because it's like uh, Poison Damage and Slay the Spire, so you'd be like, oh, well that's good. But the problem is that you can always target something in uh, Slay the Spire, and you can make Bleed worse. You can do our uh, poison worse. It's like double the poison on a guy's that ability. Um, so this is this is not helpful. This is all actually bad. All right. I feel like the game got a lot more fair. Um, do I want money or do I, I recall there's something for fighting them? Let's go ahead and fight them. It's fun. It's so much easier to destroy them in this uh, update. Especially with this deck. This deck is so good. So I'm going to actually try and win today. Uh, Let's see. I can move one. Okay, okay. 
So we suplex, move one, throw to the ground, <laughs> and then tackle. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone on the ground! Uh, head smash to kill him. PlayStation Game Showcase today. Are you expecting anything from him? I didn't even know that was happening, so, uh, no. Yeet. Should kill him. Uh, we could ponder and do some extra damage, maybe. Uh, let's just for sure kill him. Yeah, I don't have a PlayStation, so I, I don't really keep up with it. I thought about getting a PS4, but then we're on to PS5 now, right? So, honestly, just to be able to play Bloodborne. And that was like a heavy consideration when I was working at GameStop, because I was like, I could get a pre, you know, refurbished one, just spend a lot of time cleaning it one day, get paid to clean the thing that I'm going to buy, and then buy it. Little efficiencies like that are pretty much required if you're going to be working at GameStop because they do not give a shit. Roll. Um, PS4 is still pretty relevant. I mean, how many games are there for the uh, PS5? There was also supposed to be a thing for um, Voxel they're announcing today, like new stuff. I don't know what, but, um, okay. Gotta think about this one a bit. I can get pushed, and if I get pushed, then I pretty much get fucked. Um, I think we go here, and then we just, like, annihilate this guy's asshole. And then, done. Cool. It's almost unfair. So I got 120 for doing that rather than just taking the easy 50. Um, I think we're gonna try and get some more health. So we can go to the clinic or we can go extra momentum if I can do the thing. It's probably a briefcase, isn't it? Why do they come when they're stomped? People like being stomped on. It's a whole fetish thing. Why are you asking that? All right, are these guys big? Can I roll throw them? I can, apparently. Okay, head smash him just to do damage, then we suplex him to get him out of the way. Yeet! You can suplex people off of edges, by the way. Uh, let's see. Swap places with the enemy. I don't think I want that. It would kill him quicker. Uh, I should probably twist kick first. Oh, well. Maybe he'll move up into me so I can swap with him and then just option play. No? Okay. Uh, swap to... Ooh. Uh... I have two turns to get it. How do they do this where I don't take damage? I can headbutt him for... Yeah, we just headbutt him and don't kill him here. And then move back onto it. Okay.
All right. Now, we want to knock two enemies out of the arena, which I don't think I can do. Uh, we'll go here, though. And then we'll go ahead and grapple this guy to here. And then we'll switch out Stomp, because that's probably not going to be relevant. And then, uh... Do we want to do that? He'll do 12 damage to us, because he'll turn around to face us. Um, alternatively, we can just run over here. I think we run over here. Hi, everybody. What if you all shot this one dude instead? And then we just... Yeet. Cool. And then this guy tries to stand up, and they both take damage. This deck is so good, man. Uh, the tile behind must be empty. Okay, I can't do that. I thought I could suplex them off things. Okay, well... We'll do a... Uh, I don't really want a throat punch. I'd rather just roll throw and get through. There we go. That's one off the edge. Let's see if I can suplex him. I can't. Can we have a rat pog? Is that a thing? We can make that an emote. Uh, rat pog. I was also thinking a rake emote would be good, considering how often I say that. Look at this. Oh, there is a rat pogging emote already. Rat poggers sounds pretty good. How do I knock anyone else out of the arena? I think it's going to be on this guy to do it to this guy. So that's going to take some careful positioning. I played Loop Hero. It was not very popular for people. Like, the, people didn't really care for it. Uh, I could go back to it. That might be worth doing today. Um, that's the kind of game I could probably get away with doing today and it not be a big deal. There we go. Now you knock him out of the arena? No, he doesn't push. Um, oh well, fuck it. I don't think I can knock him out of the arena no matter what I do. I was trying to get it to happen, but I just don't have the, uh, the things. Spiked stamp. Eight bleeding damage to an adjacent downed enemy. Retain. Uh, that's, that's okay. Because that's damage to a downed enemy. And that's hard to do. I only have one way of doing that right now. And it's retained, so I don't have to worry about, like, getting whatever I need, so that's pretty decent synergy. Knock people out of the enemy or arena and um hmm. Dash. We'll go there. And then uh suplex this guy. Sure, fuck it. Fuck you. He'll probably scoot to the side to try and shoot me. Yeah, there we go. Alright, um... Get that guy out of the way nice and nice and quick. Alright, so this guy will kill me if I don't move out of the way. Um... Let's head smash him here. And then he's going to be aiming this way still. And then we slip to here and throw this guy to the ground. I could have probably... Uh, I should have jumping twist kicked. For some reason, I thought I had way less energy than I did. I'm just an idiot. 
Uh, just got done playing ED. Rectile dysfunction? What is ED? <laughs> I have a feeling I'm about to get like, um, whatchamacallit. Beat me to it. That's a good one. I like that one. Ligmud. Oh, I didn't even get the briefcase. I'm stupid as shit. I got Ligmud and ED. -ed. And I fucked up the briefcase. God damn it. Everything sucks. This guy dies after I think he gets the shot off. I hope. No, he just dies. Okay. How you doing, Android? Uh, suplex. We're not gonna knock two enemies out of the thing. We're just gonna kill whoever we can kill as fast as I can. I could have done that to- Well, I didn't really want to because I didn't want to take the damage. I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing all right, man. I got my ass beat uh, in Warhammer. Um, I, I, okay. So I asked on, so there's a Warhammer competitive Reddit, right? And I asked on there like, hey, am I the asshole for doing this thing? Um, a guy didn't know a really basic rule. He was practicing for a tournament. He entered a tournament. I didn't know a very basic thing about the game. And he had the chance to get around it. I asked him if he wanted to get around it. And he said no. And then I was like, okay, so I'm going to kill him? And he's like, well, you can't. And I'm like, yeah, I can. And then I did. Um, and he was really upset about it because he didn't know the rules. So I asked, like, hey, does that make me an asshole? And generally speaking, most people said no, but it kind of makes you a bad sport. So now I kind of feel like an asshole. Oh, shit. It's a thing that he should have known if he was going to a tournament. Um, it's an incredibly basic rule that's been in the rule set for the past, like, two years. Um, which is awful to say that, you know, it's been out for two years, but... I, I just was feeling bad because he got really tilted after that. Um, Warhammer has rules? Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, has a lot of them. Is rising strength worth it? Um, I'm pretty slow. Um, the rule in question was... Um, uh, lookout, sir. He didn't know how lookouts are worked. And so I, do the rules mean that orcs are good? Orcs, okay, so orcs are really, okay. So there's a model called the rocket truck squig buggy, right? It's a combination artillery piece slash food truck because orc. Um, and it went from a fucking joke to being absolutely fucking amazing. It was like a waste of plastic in the last edition and um, Now it's, it's great. This guy moves every time I move. Um, so I'm going to go here. That's fine. And then just kill this guy. It wasn't a tournament, but he was practicing for a tournament. And so I, I, you know, played him like we were playing a tournament. Uh, any plans on streaming that tabletop game, uh, again? Uh, sure, but they changed the rules. There's a new edition of Kill Team now. And I have no idea how it works, and I'm gonna have to learn the new rules.
But, um... Hey, Rev, if they revived his kill team, does that mean they already killed... Yeah. What about four souls? Yeah, for sure. You should play progress quests. That might be a thing. <sighs> okay. Is there a way to move that keeps him in range? He move. Well, he's not moving this turn. He advances one, I think. I could options play him into position. Does he still move? No, he moved away from me. God damn you. What the fuck did you just do? How much damage are you doing? 10? I think we roll throw through him and then stamp on him. And that kills him. No? Okay. I expect nothing less. Riverdale is now taking over the rev cord. Okay. I didn't expect that one. I think we uh, ponder the head smash away. And then we throw this guy to the ground. And then stomp on his nuts. Stomp him in the nuts! Okay. Kill? Grapple kill. Uh, eight damage plus. I'm gonna do some more here. Okay, and that should not kill him, but his life is bad. How about I just suplex your ass? Uh, let's get rid of, uh, headbutt? No. Yeah, either way, it's gonna kill him. Okay, there we go. I haven't been sleeping well lately. I think it's because I'm, uh, worried about the wife going on that thing. But it's, again, like I've said, it's gonna be fine. Um, but I'm definitely going to try and stream more next week because I'm just going to be lonely. <laughs> uh, I got the kitties, and that's good. But, uh... Let's see. Convert all bleeding to combo. Discard all non-attack cards. Draw that many. Power through. <sighs> Retain unused block for five, four turns. All right, I'm just going to heal. Uh, event or that combo up. Yeah, I deserve one. I always deserve a pay raise because that's, are we the kitties? No, no, the, the kitties are the kitties. The ghosts will keep me company. Cool. Don't yeah at me. Okay. <laughs> Throw this guy. Oh, fuck. You can't suplex a guy onto another guy. Okay. Uh, shoulder throw on them. Sure. And then rising strength. I think we can get them to kill each other. If I let them stand up long enough to pull it off. I'm going to take damage this turn. 
I don't think there's a way around it. That was my mistake on the last turn. We'll just do as much damage as possible. And then Stomp doesn't work because he's not grounded. Uh, if we scoot around him, we'll only take 10 rather than 14. So we'll scoot around him. Because then we don't take the slam against the wall damage. Okay. And that should activate him to actually attack. Yeah, there we go. I have to move in front of him and he has to move, I think, in order for the attack to activate. I've been trying my best to figure out what exactly causes people to attack or not. And I think that's it. Let's tackle this guy. Get him out of the way. Uh, kick him in the nuts. Figure out our next play. Uh, headbutt is not necessary. I guess. Oh. All right. You're going to do 12, and I can walk into that and do damage. Sure. Bam. Yeah, the spike stomp is good because it combos. The other, like, bleed effects are not good. All right. I don't think that kills him. This fucking cat is a censorship cat. Literally just a cat I found on the internet. Like, no one's. He's gonna take 10, which will not kill him. Suplex? Swap? Punch? Move. Kills him? And now we're out of opponents, so... Oh well. Yeet! Oh well. Flash powder. It works well with like bleed effects and stuff. Um, snap strike is fine. I think I'm dirtying my deck with anything I add. It feels weird to keep skipping. What does this guy's do to deal again? He moves anytime I move. Uh, he moves up to three a turn. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, ponder away. Dash. I don't think I need that. Uh, grapple him to there. And then just headbutt him in the... Oh, I'm taking damage now. Well, I'm dumb. How much damage do you do? 12? Cool. I hate it. Ow. I have a concussion now. Good. <sighs> Alright. This guy's gonna follow me over here. If I move to him, I could maybe throw him to the ground. Let's do that. And then just... Swap! What does concussion do? 
Uh, want all the momentum while this card is in your hand, remove it from play at the end of the turn. Okay, not that bad. Um, this is the guy that we kick his ass. I should have slipped around him and did that. Oh well. We can just option play out of this. Um, no, it costs two. Oh, we could slip backwards. That'll work. We should kill him next turn. So he should be fine. Um, throat punch. Let's do some easy damage into this guy. This guy's dead. This guy we can just roll through. And good. He dies. That guy's fine. The other guy's fine. Cool. Let's see. We need something that allows me to get out of this corner. I think we don't need the spike stamp. All right, cool. There we go. That's something to get out of this corner. And one guy just blew up. He uh, bled to death. Cool. And now I'm safe. So I could move one forward, then punch this guy. Does he have... We'll counter incoming attacks. Okay. Swap. Counter throw, just to take less damage. I can't actually throw him. Uh, head smash him. That was the maximum damage he could do anyway. And then, cool. Good. And then, yeet! They also made it a lot easier to get some of these things. Uh, add 16 blocks to a chosen ally or self. Huh. That might actually be good. Though I feel like I'm pretty good as long as I keep moving. Uh, I'm gonna go for the health. So I'm going to go here. And then this gives me a heal too. 16 block is a lot, but it also adds a lot of crap to my deck. And there are enemies later that don't care about block. Actually, mostly in this section. All right. Protect the ambassador. Complete the level within eight turns. Um... Throw. Swap, did you get him facing me? Then slip to the side. And just keep the movement up. Oh God. He's gonna take damage this turn and it's gonna be just short of lethal. There's really not much I can do about that. If I move to the side, I could throw punch this guy and just not take any damage. How much do I heal? Is it even worth trying to protect him? It may not be. Let's just uh, let's throw punch this guy. I guess I could have gotten rid of Stomp. I'm gonna be really upset if it's something that actually gets... Okay, no, that's fine. Hopefully they come after me now. Um, okay, so he's just dead, right? Short of like... Yeah, just he's dead. There's nothing I can do about that. Oh, wait, no. Um, then we grapple him over there. And counter throw. So we're going to only take six. Okay. Uh, 
Well, kill this guy. Swap with me here. I might be able to save this guy. Uh, and that's it. This guy's alive too, right? Okay, cool. I can swap with him again. Rising strength is not pot, like useful right now. So let's get rid of that. Yeah, we swap with him again. <laughs> get out of here. Um, does that swap my spot? No. So throw punch this guy. Throw this guy. Stomp him in the nuts and obliterate this guy. Rev is secretly good at video games. No, I'm just, uh, the game got easier. And then headbutt to kill. Holy shit. Tell me I heal like at least, what, 12? Okay, well. Um, jab is fine. Increase the maximum momentum by two this fight. Jab or heal? If I heal, then I can spend less on healing later. I think that's good. Jab, I think, just muddies the debt. All right. Upgrade my cards or upgrade my health. My health is staying pretty high, but let's keep it that way. Okay, cool. These guys are pretty difficult. Oh, what the fuck? What's the shield about? I've never seen this guy before. Shield bash. Cannot be harmed in the front. Oh, God. Oh, no. Um, do you just attack one forward? Let's hope so. Okay, I'm gonna block just in case. Okay, it's just one forward. <sighs> Ponder shouldn't set off him to attack. We're gonna get rid of Stomp. Can we? Okay, GG. <laughs> <laughs> if you knock them out of the arena, they die. Um, okay, bonus combo. I don't care about combo. Reward cards are automatically upgraded. I'm not taking very many cards. I'll take resilience to just take three less damage a turn. Just yeet. If you can get those easy yeets on the boss, go for it, my dude. All right, ninja time. <sighs> I gotta worry about Steven Seagal and Shredder now and whoever new enemies they've added. Uh... See, right now it feels like I don't have the ability to throw anyone. It's because I've added too many cards to my deck to be able to get that. I'm not sure what I would remove. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, 
I'm grappling him here so that way I can roll throw him. And then I throw this guy. Everyone on the ground! Stay mobile, keep moving. I'm gonna just watch this one because that was fun. All right, this is what my average combat with these guys looks like. Suplex. this last move where I just like kind of and then bonk Spartan kick 24 damage and push it's four though um, two less damage gain one momentum I'm already complaining about the deck size thing Sparta kick could be fun. Is it worth though? What the fuck is Helltaker? It's a good game, man. It's a really good game. It's free? It's like a puzzle game. Um, you have a certain number of moves to get to a thing. I think I would take Spartan Kick just for the memes. I don't think it's actually good. Don't tell him it's very horny. It's very horny. Um, I want more health. So I can either go to the water roof water tanker or the roof water tanker. This one's got an event behind it. I think I'm going to go this way. I did not play the update, I don't think. If you do things right, you can beat missions without losing health. With the uh, the roll stuff, or with the throwing, it seems like you could do it pretty easily. Right. The update came out pretty quickly after you streamed, of course. That's the way it is with anything that I do like this. Like, it, it ends up being like the next thing. Uh, I don't think I can get over there just yet, so we'll just get ready. Okay. Uh, suplex. Yeah, I can see your uh, updated pronouns now, Starstruck. You're good. It's neat. It's a neat feature, honestly, that, that thing. Okay. I just don't have the movement to do it unless if I get rid of something. Uh, let's get rid of Stomp. And maybe get another movement. Need a two movement. Ah, okay. Okay. 
Well, thank you, Drink Master. Uh, you get a, there's a, um, a, I think it's, is it for Firefox or is it for Twitch itself that does an update that allows you to see pronouns if someone puts them in their thing? The Twitch extension. There you go. Chrome and Firefox. I use Firefox. I, I don't know if it's on other things. Um, I could... Can't get the briefcase. I don't need it. You know what? I don't need it. I don't. I don't need shit. I don't need the fucking thing. <sighs> Just be on the floor. And get rid of Stomp. It's the only option. Get rid of it. Okay, cool. You have ad block on mobile? Sure. I assume it doesn't work on mobile. Um. Okay. I could tackle him. And then that's it. 40 defense. What are you doing over there? Uh, I can't throw him unless if I take damage and it's 19 damage, you know, I'm good. Just, uh, stun if an unblocked, uh, here, look over there. Debunk. Roll throw does the most damage. I guess head smash would have been good there. Oh well. Cool. Dodge counter, counter for 10 damage, dodge one. Next incoming strike does zero damage. That's kind of great. That's two, though. I think that'd be good. Most of these guys do counterattacks. The grapple stuff really is solid into... Um... I think he can still counterattack me regardless. If I dodge swap. Swap is movement. Holy shit. Yeah, so then I just don't take damage for the dodge. And it'll take 10. Oh, <laughs> he's dead anyway. <laughs> Okay. Um, so I need to complete the le level within five turns for the health. That's all I really care about here. If I can knock him out of the arena, that'd be cool, but I didn't take Sparta Kick, so I can't. Um, so let's go here, and then uh, shoulder throw, and then just stomp the fuck out of him. Stomp him in the nuts! Stomp him in the nuts! Would you rather go to a real haunted house or a fortune teller? Or a real fortune teller? I've been to a real haunted house. Um, so I guess a real fortune teller. Do I want to know the future though? I don't know.
Fortune tellers can tell you other things. You can also just not use the fortune teller. I know that seems like a bitch choice, but like you could just not. It's 14 damage. <sighs> okay. Do I need to suplex him? No. I could throat punch him, but that's funnier. Back. Um, premonition is a wonk yarn. Doesn't always work the way you want to expect it. Also, you will can my, buy magic talk. Welcome. Stop him! Hunker down for armor. Flurry, add three jabs to your hand. Chain strike. Uh, add three momentum if it does six damage. Okay, whatever. Now, skip. Uh, event or really not taking that much damage. I think I'll go to the gym and just up my, uh, just get thick. Is that the right term? No. Here. Um, swap with me. Cool. Enjoy. <laughs> Here, uh this accounts as an attack, so he'll he'll counter me. So what if we just uh He'll be forced away from me, so you can go there. And then I'll I'll just move here. Let's see. And then just go ahead and jiggle to the side a little bit and rising strength. There you go. Enjoy guys. Just go ahead and shoot each other. You know, like normal people do. Good job, everybody. You're doing great. <laughs> so awkward looking. <laughs> All right, there we go. And then he dies. And then all I got to deal with is gun guy. Um... Tackle does more than suplex. Oh. Almost screwed it up again. Good. <sighs> again, skipping just to avoid taking bad. Um, upgrade. All right. What is bad in my deck? Anything? I got so much money. Rising strength is fun. Swap is good. If it were free, it'd be better. Um, what can, else can I upgrade? Counter throw. Really want to just upgrade things to make them free. Or cheaper. Dodge counter goes to free. Holy shit, fuck. That is so broken. I'm pumping that shit every fucking turn. Holy fuck. Oh, who the fuck is raiding here? What do you do? 12 damage and push up to two tiles away. Can I knock you down? No. This guy makes me do less damage every attack, and I just have to complete the level, so just go. Stamps.
Go over there. Um, I can't get to anyone else, so I might as well abuse this guy more. Let's see. I can't shoulder throw that guy, so I'm just looking for damage. Didn't get it. That's fine. That might offset this guy's uh, damage modifier thing. Because he... Every four turns, minus two damage. Or, yeah. Uh, so I go up by two every four turns. It's all right. Throw punch. Steven Seagal. Please die. Um, and a bit of a wiggle to the side. Okay. Swap with me even though he can't take damage from that guy just to get the movement on this guy. Get moving around and then um, stomp him in the nuts as one is one to do. I don't think he took damage from the wall pound either, did he? Out of the arena, please. Thank you. And this guy should be taking... Yeah, he'll take 20 from that, and then he's dead. How do I like the updates? It's a lot better of a game. Um, it is so much more playable. <sighs> I can't get him to push out. Ah! So many of my moves are throwable. But somehow, also, seems like not enough. Uh, let's get rid of... Grapple. Yeah, that doesn't help me. All right. Okay. Um... Throw this guy to the ground and stamp and switch. All right. This guy is probably one of the most annoying enemies in the game. Steven Seagal here. Because there's so little you can do about him. Um, but simultaneously, I'm about to kill him. So I guess it's fine. If I shoulder throw him, that'll be enough to kill him, and it doesn't deposition me from where I'd like to be too much. Okay. Uh, get knocked out. Get fucked. Real hard. Suplex! Alright. Absorb attacks. Okay. Stun dart is unfortunately very bad. Uncontrollable power, 30 damage, or lose 8 health if unplayed by the end of your turn. Ugh. Feels good. Momentum up, or... Random event. The Wicked Witch is dead. Um, Margaret Thatcher? She's been dead for a minute. Boom. Uh, complete the level within six turns. Money if I can knock him out of the arena, but I don't really care about that. Let's 
switch. Shoulder throw. Whoops, I meant to do throw. Oh well, I guess that's fine. <laughs> Uh, suplex. Stomp him in the nuts. Rising strength. Grapple you over to there. Grapple is so good in this deck. Dodge the first attack. Okay, so... This guy does not die from that. I need to do a little bit of damage to him. Oh, excuse me? Ah, I see. He's a different guy than the guy I thought he was. And let's see if I can get something that's free that does good stuff. No. Okay, that's fine. Suplex? No. Um... Cannot be harmed from the front. Okay, what about if I tackle you? Should have read that effect, shouldn't I? There we go. My fucking link is more important than my feet. What what is your link, Gmax? What what's going on? Gmax? Stomp him in the nuts. Let's just have him bleed out on the floor. It's funny. Flying punch. 24 damage, range 2. Field promotion. Uh, no, I'll just heal. Uh, so this thing, I have to. G-Max was talking about fucking Link. You mean like he was talking about the character or actually having sex with him? These are important uh, distinctions here. Alright. What if... What if I threw to you to the ground? This chat is a mess. It's not even going that fast. It's y'all. All right, and then you go stand on that guy's body. So you take damage when he tries to stand up. There you go. Good job. The uncontrolled power is a bit of a, a stickler in my hand. Because I am worried about taking the damage. But it's honestly not that bad. Would I rather do 7 damage or just move out of the way of this attack? I think I just move out of the way of the attack. Because I can't kill him here, right? Yeah, no. And then this guy's still alive, so I gotta move to this side. What's the special objective? Defeat seven enemies. God, there's so many of them. Holy shit. Uh... I guess we suplex this guy. Then we option play move to this guy. And head smash headbutt him? Link's balls are naked. What? 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 What are you guys talking about? What's happening? What's happening to my chat? <laughs> it's 
Stomp on it falls. Whatever's going on in the Discord is now here. Um, I mean, I'm not taking any damage, which is really nice. Uh, swap with me. Uh, get ass blasted. Oh, I was just supposed to survive. Okay. One, two punch, duplicate an attack card in your hand, flash powder, deal three damage to everyone. This guy's arm is weirdly long. Um, any damage, move him to the other side. I'll just take the heal. That's um, bowling balls. Why did you link bowling balls? I see naked balls. That explains nothing. Thank you, Chad. Suplex him. Yeah, this deck is pretty good now. Oh, that guy blocked attacks from the front. It's really annoying. Uh, I can move into that guy. He won't turn to see me. I can't tackle him out the window, right? So that means I'm gonna have to throw punch him if it comes to it. Okay, I'm gonna give it a go just in case if I can tackle him out the window, because that would be good. Okay, I can't. You have to break the window first. We'll do 12 damage to this guy while we can. Oh, hey, we can tackle him too and just get fucked. I should have slipped over here and head smashed him here. Wouldn't have killed him, but... Oh, well. I mean, the, that doesn't really help, but it at least gets it out of the way. There we are. New upgraded card. Ground pounds one day or pushes one in every direction. Pocket sand does one damage once done, ignores block. Uh I'm s like I I'm so happy with this deck that I don't think I add anything. I feel really bad about doing that. I'm ignoring a lot of really neat cards, but if I add anything, my deck will start to be a little funky. I think I'm going to take a quick piss break. I'll be right back. Um, and I'm going to get myself a Coke. Guys, I want to be cursed. What should I do? Um, God, what is his name? Robert? The doll? Just look up a picture of him and start cursing him out. That would work. I'll be right back. This is an extremely bad idea, but, you know, there you go. Do you mean Chucky? No. No, I don't. I'll be right back.
about to run an ad. I'm gonna get some water, uh, put it on for 30 seconds. I'll be right back. Okay, and I did a one minute, 30 second ad. Whoopsie. I'm gonna wait until the ad is over. I think this might be my first win. It's looking really solid. I don't know what you guys think, but I'm thinking I got a chance now. I guess I could figure out my next move. Oh, hey, welcome back, everybody. Um, health up, event. I think the event might be better. Oh, wait, we gotta choose between railway or. Oh, railway is fine. take some damage for the first time in a while that feels bad uh, this guy will take some in return but ow he took some that's good okay so then dodge counter here Oh, right. He doesn't even come at me. Okay. Well, that's fine. Hmm. I think I headbutt this guy. And suplex this guy. And then this guy will try and come after me, but I've got the the block up. I get so much health for just skipping cards now that I think I'm fine skipping some of this. Um, I don't feel as scared of this guy as I do this guy. So I think we tackle this one and stop on his nuts. And then slip back one more. And that should keep me safe from that guy, because this guy will stand up. This guy won't be able to get to me. And then I kill this guy this turn. Or not. Or not. Um... There we go. Now he's dead. Move one close and tackle him. Rev making peanut butter. I have no idea what that means. Defeat the enemies, get a new card. Uh, false surrender in the turn immediately. Remain. Okay, now I'm good. Um, we're almost to the water tower. We might take a heal. Oh, with the oh, because I'm pounding nuts. I see.
I see. Uh, subway. So I could get more health and heal. I'm not going to have enough to do anything really other than heal. This might be okay. Please, please tell me John Travolta is in here. Okay, good. He's not. It's just a uh, fat chef man. That's okay. I could have uh, twist kicked at someone there, but it's fine. I think he dies anyway. He's gonna take uh, 12. Yeah, he's dead anyway. Down there. Okay. Inefficiencies. And I could have twist kicked at this guy. Oh well. Let's see. Let's just throw him. And then option play, run up here. Just start getting some movement going. Get closer to him without being on the edge of the field. Because these guys will just knock me off. Now it would suck. Um, move closer. Rising strength. Throw. Cock and ball torture the game now. We'll just stomp them in the nuts. All day, every day. What's the objective to get the uh, the extra stuff? Complete the level within five turns. I see. Um, well, okay. What if I swap places with you, dash to here, roll through this guy, and then ponder away the throat punch? Maybe we get something like stomp? No. Okay, cool. That was pretty good. I think there was more damage that was possible there, but I fucked up, so. Uh, let's see. Grapple him to there. Does that achieve anything? Him to there. there. There we go. I think that's good. I'm interested if anyone sees better moves in here somewhere. I can't suplex this guy. Can I tackle him? No. Um, we'll throat punch him. Though. I don't want you doing any actions. Uh, suplex him to there, just in case if it causes someone to move up into him. I mean, that guy's dead. Turn spent trying to kill him is a waste of time. Stomp is not going to work. Gotta uncontrol power that guy. And then we're good. Peanut butter is like if I name something ass cum shit fuck. What are you, what? I see ass cum being a real word. Yeah? What the fuck are you guys talking about? Peanut butter. Any ham steak later today? No, we're skipping ham steak today because I need to spend some time with my wife. I won't see her for like a week, so um, I, I need the I need the wife time, y'all. Um, kill. Murder. Get rid of slip. Oh, 
shit. Uh, I guess I'll just take eight damage. Shit. Tackle. Increasing max health is almost always better than increasing regular health. This one's going to be a little sketch, because attacking the main ninja dude does damage to you. So can I persuade him to go outside the level? I'm going to try. He's going to attack several spaces in front of me, so... Um... I guess I couldn't because there was already a guy there. I'm gonna try and convince him to come over here and then just throw them off the level. Just in case if I fuck something up. No. We're good. Cool. Okay, so he's gonna be able to hit me from here. Slip over here and then throat punch, head punch. Bonk. Good. And by doing it that way, I got one extra damage out of it. Okay. So it's as long as he has armor, he has uh, damage, like uh, return damage. And how much is it? Six damage. And he's not a big guy, so the twitch twist jump kick Let's let's switch out headbutt. We could throw him on the ground. That might be good. I'll take three. Sure. I should have spike stamped that guy. He's the boss. Eight time or eight factorial damage is so much better than, you know, whatever to that guy. Does he turn to face me? He doesn't. I mean, that's cool, Moobot. Why are you telling us that? No, you're good. You're good. Did someone, like, activate that, or did that just decide to go off for no reason? Uncontrolled power to this guy. I'm gonna take a lot of damage here.
I would rather headbutt him and then suplex him. I'm an option play out of the way. But I think I kill this guy first. Headbutt this guy. I can't suplex him out of the map yet. I couldn't get over there. Um, and then option play here to get him closer to where I want them. No, stop, stop being alive. Stop that. don't really want to ponder just in case if I get that one. I guess I could get rid of uh, counter throw. Okay. Take some damage, but not that much. And then we just destroy his anus. <laughs> the heroic thing to do. Stomp on the guy until he dies. Uh, add eight ma maximum health. Lose health. Okay, this always kills me, so I'm not doing that. Or extra damage to all attacks. Sure. All right. And then we got the uh, Apple Store guys. They all have counterattacks, which really does not work um, on me. So that's good. It's more the, if you do something to them, you take damage thing, like the ninja has, that'll affect me more. Huh. So I can't suplex either of them from here. And I don't really wanna, um... I don't think I can dodge counters, right? I can't actually suplex them from anywhere in here. Yeah, that's fine. So this just deletes a guy. And then... That's just to get me into a better position. I shouldn't kill him, but good enough. <laughs> Yay! Uh, shoulder throw and then stomp. Cock and ball torture. Make it make it your attack sequence. Add a random card to your hand. Uh, maintain combo. I'll just heal. Again, just better to heal. Uh, casino, heal, heal, health up. I would imagine getting stomped through the balls does drop your T count. I think if you, uh, I think if you destroy your ball sack, I think you probably do lower your T count. I'm not a doctor. I'm not totally sure on that, but I'm going to assume that that's true. That sounds right. I think you need your balls for t testosterone to be at maximum. Mr. T and his machine gunner is going to be like the most difficult guy to fight. I'm not a doctor. Don't take anything I say as, like, fact or, like, you know, important stuff. But getting stomped in the dick is probably bad for you. I feel like I can say that. I feel like I can say that without a medical degree. That gets rid of one guy and the other guy is having a hard time trying to get up. Can I stomp on this guy despite the fact that he's under another guy? I can. Weird. All right. 
I mainly just did that to see if it would work. Um, do you have counterattack as well? No. Take damage. Take damage. Uh, here, go go over there and die. Do I want to swap or do I want to tackle? I can move one tackle. That's pretty all right. Uh, here, you can stand on him. There you go. And if I had crushed his head there, it would have uh, caused problems, so I can't do that. Uh, roll through on through. And then, uh, run over here and just throw this asshole. Easy peasy. Putting guys on top of other guys with the grapple has been incredibly effective. Can you seduce your enemies in this game? As far as I know, no. I haven't seen that card yet. Um, if I get it, I will use it, but I've not seen that yet. I think I have to kill this guy. No, I can, uh, I can headbutt, then shoulder throw him. And then I, um, dash up to, oh shit. I guess I'm gonna take damage because I fucked up. I thought it was the other throw. I'm getting sloppy. I'm taking damage I shouldn't be. Um, complete the level within three turns. Can I do that from here? Uh, I think if I move forward, I take damage. How about I do this? Twist kick. Uh, do you turn to face me? Will turn to face me. All right, so then we go here. He does 18, so I'll take 10. Cool. And kill him. A dick builder game. That's, yeah. It's a deck builder where you, you build a dick. I don't know how much, like, customization you really need for your dick. It's either long or thick. Or the opposite of those two. Feels like it's a fairly small range. I mean, I guess how much curve it's got? I don't know. Not much, not much gameplay there. Can I just kill this guy? I can. I was trying to figure out how I was going to take less damage here, but... Oh, yeah, you could go real, like, hardcore with, like, gun customization options. That makes sense. Does this switch spots with me? No. Need to make sure I don't do that again. Yeet. Heal self. That one is pretty okay. But as long as I start playing better, I shouldn't be taking any more damage. If I get good, I won't take damage. Boyfriend dungeon. That's another one I need to put on here. Uh, boy... And virtues last reward. And later. Okay. 
The fun thing about this game is you can do damage to guys and not, um... If you do it to, like, this guy, it won't... It won't actually hurt him, so... Wait. Can I not tackle him? It won't let me? Uh, get rid of block, I guess. Can I grapple him? I guess I'll just take damage then. I thought that was a thing. Maybe it's only certain attacks. Let's see. Twist kick. Uh, throw. I'd like to make a dating slash sex sim with deck building as your move set. That can't not be a thing, right? probably somewhere on itch.io. It has to be a thing. He's gonna take eight. He'll survive it. You'll be fine. get rid of spiked stamp and I can get closer but he's just going to shove me out of the way and it won't achieve anything throw punch so he doesn't attack me back so I can option play him for damage so then I can roll throw him for the final kill Okay. painkillers convert momentum into health um, I think again I'm okay Rewind. Immediately shuffle your discard pile. Okay. I'll just heal. Do I want one more health or do I want to upgrade my cards? I think I want to upgrade my cards. And I want to upgrade the most expensive card I can, I think. 120 appears to be my max. Uh, which one is not getting as much use as I would like? Uh, suplex could be more damage. Okay, 6 damage. 18. That's really good, actually, into big enemies. I play Pot of Greed. What does that do? It allows me to come in your face! Um, okay. So Mr. T is gonna kick my ass. And it's every- How does this work? Well, auto attack. And you only counter attack. Will you shoot me if I do a rising strength? Probably not, right? Okay, no. And then that only stuns if it's unblocked. So if I throw you on the ground, then you go down. And then I can headbutt this guy, then roll throw him. Yep. And then just stand there to prevent that guy from spawning. <sighs> what is your favorite Guilty Gear Strive... Uh, song. Uh, I have not played the game, so I don't know. Ooh, I do not like this. I can't really move. I can move forward, but it doesn't achieve much. Everyone come to me.
Um... We're gonna take 10 here. We'll take one. So we punch this guy so he takes slightly less damage. Oh, wait, he didn't auto attack me. Why? I have no idea. I thought he just attacked you anytime you moved. Weird. And then I can head smash him into the bed, and that does apparently a lot of damage. Uh, and then we'll go slightly to the side, and he dies. Cool. Just in case if I can't kill this guy anytime soon, let's go ahead and just start causing him problems. It's a cheap ass mattress that it does that much harm. Okay. He'll turn to face me. I do 21, he has no armor. Get headbutted. Yeet. I love it when they hurt each other too. So good. Charge, range. Uh, just, I mean, this deck is perfect. There's not a damn thing I would change. I'll just complain about it later when I lose. I'll say, man, I should have added those cards, but like, not really that many cards that are worth adding. Oh, these guys are both targeting that one square. And then he's guarding him. Let's roll through this guy. Get rising strength going. And then dash to here. Oh! Okay, yeah, if you want to do that. Oh, okay, he doesn't. I didn't know he would turn to face me. Ooh, this guy moves every time I move. That's his thing. Right? Advances whenever I use a momentum card. I dodge it because of the dodge thing. I fucked that up, but it was fine. Okay. Uh... This time he shoots. Okay. I'm sorry for being dumb, but why the fuck does he attack sometimes and not others? Also, why didn't you move? You're supposed to move here. I mean, it worked out because that had range, but still very confused about what happened there. It's random? No, no. There's there's rhyme and reason to this game. I just don't understand it. Uh. Okay. If I tackle him, then it's... So I need to swap to here... Do you think the word meme originated from the word mime? No. No, I don't think that. I mean, I guess. 
guess not. As in to mimic something? No, it, it comes from mimetic. But, um, I believe, but I don't know where that comes from. Meme is French. I would rather not... Uh, I've got to walk away from this fight. Ooh, I could roll throw to get out of here. Cool. Oh, but I'm going to take damage. We'll take... We'll use the armor, uh, lose eight health. Do I actually lose the eight health or do I take it on the armor? Okay, I actually lost eight health. That's unfortunate. What type of bitch is Pingal when being that bitch? Um, I think the, I mean, like, if I'm going to say I'm any kind of bitch, I'm the kind of bitch that um, calls you out on your bullshit. And it's just like, oh my god, really, dude? Shut the fuck up. It's going to hurt. I fucked up. Yeah. That three armor every turn is being really nice to me right now. Hmm. Weird, weird move, but just go right back to where I was. Okay. Um... I should have slipped to there and double moved over there. Because this just wastes a turn. <laughs> 31. Do I have a stomp? Yes. Good. Thank God. Oh, I didn't do the thing that I should have. Oh, well. Shift is pretty good. Move past target or move two? I can already move past targets because I just roll through them. Historically, the Egyptians were the first tune fuckers. What do you mean? You mean they were into hentai? How was ancient Egypt into hentai? I don't think it was even a thing yet. It wasn't a thing until Donald Duck, right? Um, you do 10. Uh, you know what? You guys just go for it, man. Fucking hell. Take damage because I'm not smart. There's a confirmed story of a 
from Rome with a guy who dressed up as God to sleep with an impressionable girl who's really into cults. Not kidding. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, you see that fucking move? And then get yeeted, son! On the floor with you, bitch! I didn't really expect to have that line. Oh God, what the fuck? I didn't expect that line to happen, but then he moved and I'm like, okay, I guess I'm doing that instead. Um, tackle. And stomp. Um, ponder. Get rid of head smash. It's probably not the right move. Move one to the side, sure. Uh, I'm just gonna ignore the fuck out of him. He goes second, but he'll die first. I I'm doing this more just to get extra combo going, because that counts as an attack. And then headbutt him. And then roll through him to kill him. And then they're both dead. Okay, there were there are better ways of doing that whole thing. Lose all block after moving two tiles for free. No, I just want health. I just want to heal. I survive better if I've got more health. Oh, what the fuck is you? Fucking Sephiroth over here. What do you do? Assassin. Watch out for a knife attack. Has... Ooh. Yeet. And I can't just place you outside, right? Yeah, okay. Um... Either of you guys face me? No. Okay. So I'm gonna block all of it because I'm gonna dodge. So who do I wanna bully? Um uh, this person. There we go. Can I tackle you? I can. Okay. Yeah, this deck is so much better than the old ones. The regular decks are, are just not good in comparison. And it's kind of sad because, like, aggressive was the way I used to play, but um, they just made it fucking useless. do that before I run out of energy. Stomp on the nuts. Uh, I can head smash. It won't kill, and I'll take damage, and that was dumb. Okay, well, 14 damage, because I'm an idiot. Uh, what does my build do? Uh, I just throw people. I throw people around on the floor all of the time. Um...
you don't auto turn to face me, so I'll just ponder and get rid of that card. And then, yeet. And uh, just being able to tackle, throw, all that stuff. The other decks are just like straight up damage or real defensive or counter attacks only. Um, this one is just like counter throw is in the default like counter attack judo deck. But this one is just, you know, yeet. Watch this get nerfed. Look, I just got to beat it today before it gets nerfed. Uh, here. Swap with me so I can pound your head into the bed. That sounded sexual. Grappler is on par with Slasher and Trickster for fun. Slasher is just real bad. Unless if I'm missing something, Slasher is just awful. Like... The bleed works in this build just because it's extra damage, but it just it does not. It doesn't do enough damage quickly enough. You know? Dynamic move does not trigger auto attack. Okay, I'm just heal again. <sighs> Enhanced targets. I'll take the healing. I'll try and get the heal. Trickster is fun, but I found to be kind of bad. Okay, heal is just going to be keep this guy alive. Yeah. Protect the ambassador. Throw that guy. It's like a bad poison build. Yeah, the, the, the bleed deck is like a bad poison build. It just doesn't do what it should be doing. Um, okay, you have a range of two tiles for 20. Holy shit, no. Um, I was going to grapple this guy onto that guy's body, but I think we'll just dodge the 21 damage. Dodge a fucking bullet and then punch him. Headbutt and then suplex. Yeah. The uh the bleed, unless if there's cards that I'm not aware of, just don't seem to work. Um, like, they don't do enough damage in enough time. Now, they've updated it so you have more time to complete the missions and not get screwed by, like, you know... Because they'll have, like, complete the level within six turns. It used to be, like, four turns. And with Bleed, like, it does decent damage, but it takes a while. Anyone excited about the new Matrix movie? How is there... How is there going to be a new Matrix movie? Oh, wow. Holy shit. That was brutal. I can't tackle either of them from the angle I'm at. Okay. Oh, fuck, you counterattack. Uh. Let's not do that again. Holy shit, that almost killed me. Hmm. I don't have that many turns left. That was a big mistake. Uh. Run loss? No, I've got a few turns left. 
going to do uh, 3 plus 2 plus 1, 6 damage. So I'm still alive, unless if I screw up and take more. Just double checking all of my moves before I make them right now. Okay. Dodge counter, counter throw. Dash. Should be safe. That guy dies, so I can ignore him. He'll bleed out before we get a chance to even have to deal with his shot. So I can actually just move up into range and then roll throw you. And then pray that he bleeds out real quick. Okay, God, that was scary. I was like, what if I'm wrong? Okay, he's not gonna kill the guy this turn, so I'm just gonna move closer. He turns to face me, good. Oh, God. 15 health. Flying punch, 26, okay, now I need to heal. Event, uh, I'll just take the money. And then, uh, oof. Okay. Dude, Fury Road was great. I'm trying to think of what the last movie I watched was. I think this is the second time I've gotten to this guy. I could have... Oh, fuck. Oh, well. This is the game that got me into the... Oh, KOTOR is getting a remat or a remake. That's neat. Uh, get in the way of my bullets. Cannot be pushed, has target. Okay, so he's gonna get knifed for 30. The trick with this guy, I think, is just to do as much damage to him as possible. I mean, duh, but like, you know, it's an attrition battle rather than a, a standard fight. And it's kind of the only attrition battle, as far as I know, that's in the game. I don't wanna shoulder throw, I don't think. Oh, well, I could. No, it's better to just have him take 30 damage. Okay, so. I could dodge counter shoulder throw. Shoulder throwing this guy leaves him um, under this guy. This guy has to. He'll move into this guy. If I do 12, then he can't stand up for a bit, and I can just fight this one dude for a minute. I think that's right. No, it's not because I switched spots with him. It's fine. I'm gonna move out of the way just because I'm not sure about the damage there. I'm a little sketched out. Sometimes I feel like it only like attacks two and it says two and then I do something wrong and then I die and I feel like an asshole for it.
Okay. Headbutt this guy just so he doesn't attack me. And then stomp on this guy. He's almost dead. I guess I could have headbutted at him and then done that. Off the edge he goes. Holy shit. That was real tight. Gain 25 health when healing at medical facilities. Draw an extra card. Uh, I'm going to get the extra card draw. Final mission. Too many enhancements. Remove one. Okay. Tone physique. Five health every time you skip a car. Oh, that's just the, the, the thing you get with this one. Oh, shit. Um, I'll skip that one. Hello, everyone. Go there. Okay. Fortunately, being able to get out of the way of the damage here. Why is the ambassador in a prison van? Hush you. That would require us knowing uh, plot. And the plot is not important to this game at all, as far as I can tell. Did I take damage from him trying to stand up? No. He's dead, dead. Okay. Um... The ambassador is just going to take some damage this turn. There's nothing I can do about it. I don't think I can shoulder throw him. No. Okay. <laughs> Probably for the best, honestly. Um, punch him again and then shoulder throw this guy. He's fine. Limes has some really solid emotes. Limes has just been killing her recently and I'm really proud of her for it. I don't think that there's anything I need to do here. I think I'm safe for now. If you don't mind coming a little bit closer, thank you. Um, roll through this guy. And then stomp on his nuts. Stomp on the nuts. Stomp it on the nuts. I can option play into range if I need to. Nice. Stomp on the nuts. Yeet. You gotta work on some art for yourself every now and then. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Sorry, all my brain pow power is uh, going into kicking these guys' asses. And I'm not really doing a great job of uh, keeping up a conversation going. I think I wanna, yeah, I'll dodge the attack after he swings, right? Yeah, good. And then punch him for it. And then I can option play. And that was the wrong choice because I could have, oh well. Uh, this guy will, oh nice, 69 health. He dies next turn, so I can ignore him. 
He will, however, cause me problems right now. Hmm. Because he's going to auto-attack if I do anything. So I could tackle him just to get out of the way of this guy's attack. I think I just slip between these two and headbutt this guy. Uh, so that way I can watch this guy bleed out from his dick. <laughs> Ambassador, would you mind moving to, like, solve yourself some health? Like, god damn, you were taking so much damage by not moving. Fine, I'll move them away for you. Stop them in the nuts! Okay. Suplex continuously, all the time, always. Uh, not gonna kill him with that one. Not gonna kill him with any of these. Um, I'm not gonna kill him either of these guys with either of these. But I can do this just to get him out of the way. And then we we do some damage to this guy. Oh no, that does kill him. My math was completely off. That's fine. As long as I don't get hurt. He will auto-attack me. If I punch him in the throat, he won't. No, shit. Fuck. Because it didn't do enough. All right, fine. Fuck you. Roll. Yeet. Okay. I gained 15 health, so I'm back. Follow-up strike. 24 damage to stunned enemies. That actually might be good enough to justify its existence in my deck. Because I do stun enough, I think. I'm allergic to mainstream media. Um... I guess I am. I don't know about that. I just like things. Oh my god. 42 to stun. Yeah, I'll take that. Huge damage. Health or health. Um, Lieutenant and boss. Okay. Um... I like the landing better, I think. I don't really, like, get too much into the weeds about, like, where it comes from. If it's good, I like it. I got some real basic tastes on some stuff, but then I got some, like, you know, tastes where it's, like, I don't know. Not. Cool. He's safe. God, I was watching this stream the other day. Um, There's a Warhammer thing. And, like, this one guy, he, he was short. He had to have been, like, five foot, four foot, somewhere in that region. His opponent was, like, six foot plus. So, like, there was a pretty significant, like, more than a head's difference in their height. They were just ragging on this guy, man. For being short. And maybe, like, they're good enough friends for that, but holy shit, felt brutal, man. This is gonna yeet him right off the field, isn't it? Um, we'll auto attack. Okay, throat punch. All right, now, swap with me. Now, do I want to take 16 damage right now? Not particularly, but I will. I 
I mean, the guy was taking it in good humor, but, like, it was also on a live stream, so you can't really be like, guys, you're being an asshole right now. You know? Like, there's that social contract where you can't make someone else look like an asshole because you look like an asshole because of what they're doing. You know what I mean? <laughs> Animation was a little off there. I'm not gonna get to use Spike Stamp. So I can't get close enough to be able to use Headbutt, so I'm just gonna back off. I don't know. It, sometimes it's like, am I reading the room right? Or is like, this is not actually an issue? Like, because it seems like this might be a thing. That's happening. Okay. <sighs> this guy's just gonna take damage no matter what. He can either take it over here or he can take it over there. If I swap with him here, he's gonna take it from this guy and then I can, uh... Well, I can't really get to those guys. I'll just roll this guy. Ow. It doesn't do me any good to, like, protect him if it costs me a whole bunch of health. Because chances are, like, either he survives or he doesn't. It's not really worth the time. No one's going after him right now, which is good. Okay. How about a headbutt? Into a throat punch. Just wilding on this guy. Into one of those... And then move up to get real close to him. Shit. Uh... Get, get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. What are you doing? Spike stamp is probably not worth. Uh... Hmm. I'll take three when he stands up. Five when he stands up. Or I could take 28 right now. I think I'll go ahead and take five. That's fine. Jesus, that's so much damage there. I need to get rid of these guys. Holy shit. Ever play a game and get a Pavlovian effect or a connection to food? Yes. Uh, Super Mario 3 and Cherry Pepsi. Um, this guy might just die here. Um... Okay, that actually knocked him out of the way of the bullet, which is good. Um, go ahead and grapple you over there. Nice! That's some good damage right there. Um, yes, 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 yes. Okay, throw this guy to the ground. Stomp on his nuts. Slip to the side and ponder. That's good enough. Good. That was solid. God, 
God, these guys are so much harder than before. Uh, yeet. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm fine. What does Winded do? Two extra damage from each attack while this card is in your hand. Okay, that's fine. Um, holy fuck. Okay, just give me some damage. Okay, so I can headbutt and kill him. God, that was so rough. 15 health for saving his life. Fuck you, man. Okay. Jesus, these are getting hard. Lieutenant or Lieutenant? Enhanced targets. Um, do I want to go to the gym or do I want to go to... Oh, I don't have a choice anymore. I'm going to the gym, I guess. Yeah, it was like a boss as well. I mean, it's meant to be like the end final level. This is the farthest I've ever... Oh my god, that's the boss, man! A Lieutenant? I... Okay, hold up. Oh, I can't. Um, well. Take two damage, I guess? Oh. Never mind. I'll just do nothing. Shit. I was gonna suplex him, but you can't suplex that guy because he's a big guy. Um... Uh... I didn't take damage for that. I didn't take the damage for that one either. Nice. Huh. Yeah, that guy's just dead. There's nothing I can do to protect him. There's nothing reasonable I can do to protect him. I could swap. No, even still. This guy's going to do 16. If I swap and slip, is that going to be enough? No, because then he'll take 16. Oh. Uh might be worth 14 damage from incoming attacks <sighs> okay I think that's the best I can do there and then that guy takes some damage for punching him and this guy dies okay I'm gonna try and get the other guys to attack that guy until I can suplex him out of the arena. Uh, option play. Let's uh, ponder quick block away. And then just option play back. Is that Steven Seagal? Yes, I believe so. I think that's what they're referencing anyway. I can headbutt one of them. Let's uh let's headbutt this guy. And then we don't need to get out of the line of fire because we're gonna dodge the next attack. We can suplex this guy and then do 23 damage to him while he's on the floor. Okay, still didn't do any damage because he's got all the armor. He's gonna kill a dog with an illegally parked tank. God, that's gotta be a reference to something. That's way too specific. Slip. 
You don't turn to face me. That's good. Probably should have checked that before I moved. Throw. I took damage there. Okay. And then kill this guy. Oh. How do you illegally park? What the fuck with the tank thing? Okay. Um, I can either take 18 or... I hate this. I take 18 because the game says I do. And then... Oh shit, you turn? No! No, 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 no. Quit. Quit. Load game. Oh, fuck you! God damn it! Can I just, uh, yeah, fuck it. If I'm not going to take any new cards, I might as well start at the end. <sighs> that really took the wind out of my sails. Holy shit. I'm fucking tilted now, dude. I am so tilted. <sighs> Why not play on the difficulty where it gives you rewinds? It feels like cheating. They both do 12 damage. It doesn't matter which one I take it from. Here, swap with me. Feel like it's alright to switch games now? I might have to. Uh, what else could I stream? Didn't I specifically want rewinds on the last one? Yeah. But now that I've got it, I feel bad for asking for it. Minecraft, Dicey Dungeons. Creepy pasta. Isaac. <laughs> Spelunks. Mega Man Zero. That one's coming out of nowhere. Fuck, dude. <sighs> Boyfriend dungeon we're not doing today because, uh, Maybe I should just, like, fold the laundry or something. Like, actually do some housework rather than sitting on my ass. I'm not gonna show you guys me folding the laundry so you can see my underwear. 
Oh god, I'm so fucking- I'm not gonna even be like, oh no, it's good. I'm happy. I'm excited. Everything's going great. I'm fucking tilted. God damn it, that was so dumb. I could have just not moved into him. Ugh. <laughs> oh well. Um... Yeah. All right. Well, you know what? This weekend, I might be uh, streaming. If I do, I'll probably stream something that's not Road 69, not a new game. We'll probably do something like Dicey Dungeons or something like that. Um, just because, like, you know, normally I take the weekends off because it's the only days that my wife has off. Uh, but she's going to be not in town. So... <sighs> God, that's so upsetting after three hours. Holy shit. And it's one little slip-up. It was multiple slip-ups. Let's not kid ourselves. Ugh. All right, I'll, I'll beat that game someday. I feel like it's possible now. But anyway, I don't see any art on the Buru. Um, it's kind of a chill stream for y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. Dicey Dungeons maybe to finish the game tomorrow or something. Yeah, I'm going to go fold some laundry. I need to just walk away from the computer for a bit. Like, super tilted. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm fine. I should work on this painting some. Paint's dry? Is it dry? Okay, the paint is dry. That's another thing I need to do. <sighs> Alright, well, I'll see you guys uh, possibly... Uh, well, definitely tomorrow, possibly uh, Saturday. Hopefully tomorrow. I mean, we're going to be waking up at the crack of dawn. We may not even sleep tomorrow or tonight because of how early she has to go. But hey. Anyway. Oh, well, thank you, Twink Master. Uh, you guys have a good stream. Or you guys have a good day. I'll see you guys later. Brr.